Hey Taurus, welcome to your love reading for July 24th to the 31st for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So, from all my uh, newbies, anyone who's not used to my readings, I always go over the meditative session that I do, then I get into the pre-shuffle with the cards already laid out, and then I go ahead and clear the board and do the tarot reading. Um, so Taurus, we gotta have a little talk. <laughs> Can we talk for a minute? Let's talk for a minute. I actually already did your reading. I actually did your reading and uh, the partner reading as well for Patreon, and <sighs> there was an energy there was an emperor energy whether it's you or someone you're connected with because as we know it's all energy it could all be vice versa right where there this emperor was oh my god this emperor was experiencing two like polar opposite kind of emotions well and i in reality one was very ingenuous this person is dealing with depression dealing with some very deeply rooted sadness and heartache but because this emperor doesn't want to deal with emotions, they, they kept putting on like a fake happy mask, right? It's like they wake up, they go out for work, they go out about their day, they're just smiling and everything's happy, everything's fine, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. And they go home when they're alone, they're fighting off this emotional upheaval that they keep pushing back and pushing back, pushing back. And the pain was so intense, guys. And it's definitely a lot of heart chakra stuff going on with this emperor and it was so intense that it actually tapped into a little nugget of pain of mine and it was like oh god it's like oh i need to purge this i need to purge this and, and it is also part of the eclipse energy and my moon is capricorn so i was like i kind of expected some events like that uh for at least for the next like couple weeks or so but Taurus, I like had to purge like um you know emotionally purge then i actually did like do a little reiki on myself so Hour and a half later, here we are redoing your reading, okay? Um, but anyway, let's move ahead. Let's talk about you. Just had to share that in case anyone's struggling with this eclipse energy. Or if they're struggling with purging, it's okay to purge. You gotta let it out. It's coming up for a reason. Anything that comes up, it's coming up for a reason. Pay attention to it. Don't push it away, okay? All right, Taurus. So in the first meditative session I did, I saw a dolphin. I saw a dolphin like doing the little jumps which was really cool by the way i freaking love dolphins who doesn't love dolphins um dolphin energy can come in a couple different flavors okay it can be about transitions about um if we're going through a transition or transformation that you don't get you know you're not enti your entire being doesn't change right it just evolves into something bigger something better something more improved something healthier it doesn't mean you, you just change everything of who you are right um, dolphin spirit is also an energy of of fun and sexuality and fantasy and and just joy just ultimate joy and also a lot of attraction energy um, which was at the core of a relationship between this emperor and actually a high priestess energy but outside of that connection that up and down in and out of the water that was definitely the mask at play oh i'm out i'm out of the emotional waters i'm happy i'm in the sun see i'm happy aren't you convinced that i'm happy and then deep down back into the emotional depths of themselves which they were not coping with very well okay i do think that's still at play here with the energies that i was picking up on for this second go around in this meditative session excuse me um i actually saw a tree which felt so good <laughs> oh my god compared to the first reading oh it felt so good i felt like this energy of of not only being grounded and very much uh, rooted into the earth's energy but also being very much like connected to ether connected to spirit connected to source whatever you want to call it for yourself um but also this energy of being present being present in the now being aware of the now because in all reality guys all we really have is now the past is the past whatever's coming is what's coming you can't do anything about it in this present moment all you can do is live in the now the now is really all that is tangible which is why time isn't linear right that's the, you know that's the other part of that if enjoying the present moment and not holding on to the past not letting the past affect your present decisions especially when it comes to people who don't want to deal with their pain right there's clearly a lot of shit that's happened in the past that needs to be dealt with if we're experiencing that kind of pain, right? And it's important to acknowledge it. It's important to deal with it. Um, and I think that's what's really uh, the big, big highlight of the energy for the last week of July for you, Taurus, and, so, and for this person that you're connected with. It feels very mutual. And, it, you know, a lot of people are going to be experiencing energy like this during the eclipse. But Taurus, be present in the now. Enjoy the now. And, and also, like, I'm getting something about judgment, actually. I'm getting a little download about judgment. 
You can only make judgments on what's happening now. You can't make judgment. Oh, I just shut the camera. You can't make judgments on the past in your present. You understand what I'm saying? It's like your present is your present. Just because five years ago, Sandy said that to you doesn't change anything about your life now. You're in charge of your life now. Thank you. Thank you. Judgment and responsibility. Thank you. Accountability. All right. There we go. It's piecing together. Um, we need to be accountable for our present moments. We need to be accountable for our life. And we need to stop pointing the finger at other people. Yeah, people do bad shit. They do. It, it's up to us to pick up our pieces, right? Someone might throw a baseball through our glass house. It's up to us to pick up the pieces of our glass house, right? Um, and to understand that people are going to do what they're going to do. And that's not a reflection on us. That's not a judgment on us. Oh, God, Taurus. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. We have this, you guys have a lot of cards, by the way, in the pre-shuffle. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. Could also be water or fire. Strength and reverse. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Strength and reverse, Leo energy. By the way, we're going to see a lot of Leo cards come out in the next couple weeks just because we are going into Leo season. A lot of uh, shifts occurring in Leo. King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Could also be water or air with the Seven of Cups in reverse. More Scorpionic energy. Then we got this little gem. I know, it doesn't look so pleasant, does it? I, I actually feel like this is an emotional explosion. Uh, the Tower, Scorpionic energy, could also be Aries, because this is Mars influence with the Three of Pentacles in a verse, which is Capricorn energy. Also going to see lots of Cappy energy because of the Eclipse. And then I saw this. Death in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Page of Cups. Six of Cups in reverse, more Scorpionic energy. Uh, this is also Soulmate, Karmic, Past Life energy. Definitely regarding the past my definitely regarding the past and then we have the chariot which is awesome cancerian energy here so first of all someone's thinking about making a move someone's thinking about making a move to flirt or to apologize i do feel like it is for an apology i do feel like it is for an apology here but someone's really weighing out their decisions if they really should or not if they should or not i just heard is it safe is it safe to hmm, interesting is it safe to then we have strength in reverse this is honestly just not having the confidence or courage to do it being very afraid being very fear-based i am getting ego with that too especially when you get these cards and we'll get into that in a minute yeah this is yeah this is that same energy i was feeling in that first taurian reading but don't worry guys i purged that little nugget <laughs> that the reading just tapped into for me that was the weirdest thing i mean i i usually can sense what's going on with other people and sometimes it will trigger something in me am i in focus i feel like i'm not there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, but wow, that was like a very deeply buried nugget. Okay, so thank you for that, because clearly it needed to be gone and gotten rid of. But anyway, fear, fe ego based fear. Thank you. Ego based fear, I think is what's holding this person back from stepping forward, coming forward. And it is this same person, this King of Cups in reverse and Seven of Cups in reverse. This is someone who's trying really hard to push emotions out of the way for themselves, trying really hard to detach from emotions, bury them. It's made them crazy in the past is what I'm getting. Still making them a little crazy. They're trying to push it away to make a clear decision. This person, I think this person thinks that you can really only make valid decisions from a headspace. And I actually disagree with that. I actually think you need to be people who should be making decisions from the head and the heart not just one or the other. Um, and it's very possible to do that because in my opinion, just just my opinion, it ain't fact. The heart, the heart chakra, emotions, all of that, it's the way our soul really speaks to ourselves. What our soul's really screaming at us about, right? It's in our, it's in our animal instincts. It's in our emotions. It's in those feelings. It's in those weird little sensations that you get where it's like, oh no, no, something doesn't feel right about that, right? You got to pay attention to that. That's your intuition at play. That's your soul screaming at you, even your guide screaming at you. If you're making decisions just from the headspace, there's a lot that can kind of go awry with that. Could they be very logical, rational decisions? Absolutely. Absolutely, they can be. Um, but we got to also remember the mind can also be very tricky. We can, our minds honestly trick our trick. Our minds honestly trick us. They really do. Like if you really think about it, right? Because our minds have our own little biases. Our minds have our own perceptions. They don't have all the facts. They have our side of the story. They don't have the other person's side of the story. They don't have the full big picture, right? We might think we might have it, but do we really have it, right? 
So anyway, that's just my little take on that. But this person seems to think that I need to be in a, in a true, truly only a headspace to make this kind of decision, to see what's right, to see what's right ahead, to know if it's the right time to come in, if it's safe, right? And we got that already, if it's safe. This person is afraid. This person is acting out of fear, which is not really working out so well with them because the more they're pushing this emotion away, the closer they're getting to this. And this does not feel like, um, well, I don't believe in bad tower moments. I don't believe in bad tower moments, but this feels like an emotional explosion of I'm repressing, I'm repressing, I'm repressing, and it just wants to come out, right? Because it's been trying to come out and then you didn't let it come out, whether this is you, Taurus, or uh, someone you're dealing with, right? And then with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, whatever this explosion, it, it does feel like an emotional explosion is, it's about uh, not being on the same page with someone or it is actually causing uh, a disintegration of a team dynamic, of a partnership dynamic, okay? This could have even been a, well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a past tower moment. Some of you guys just asked me that. No, it wasn't a past tower moment. It's coming. And then we, <laughs> can't hold up the cards. And then we have this energy, <laughs> apologizing for the past and moving ahead, moving forward to it. Um, interesting yeah this apology whatever this apology is for it's something that i think some people might have pretended to be dead like a situation that doesn't need revisiting yeah that ain't true it needs to be revisited because all these emotions that excuse me are trying to come up right trying to come up and get out but there's an apology for it there's an apology that's going to be had for it for whatever it was that happened whatever happened oh boy all right taurus you ready Okay, guys, for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions, um, or confusions, I'll be so happy when Mercury retrograde is over. I feel like I haven't been able to talk correct. I feel like I haven't been able to speak correctly in a, like, way worse than usual, and it's making me really crazy. But if you have any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret a tarot reading as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. <clears throat> any messages for Taurus? Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. <clears throat> I'm getting something about doubt. I'm getting something about doubt, which is interesting because that King of Cups energy, um, they're in fear. They're in fear. They're trying to hide that they're in fear. Do they even realize? They're not even cognizant of how much fear they're carrying and how they're making it, they're, that they're making decisions out of fear. I think if you were to say that to this person, they would be very offended. <laughs> They would be very offended because they don't think of themselves in that kind of way. They don't think of themselves as a person who's afraid easily, but they are. They are. But this doubt, I feel like doubt is the other party. Yeah, I feel like doubt is the other party receiving the apology. Just heard cynic. Cynic? Is that a word? Cynic? I guess that's a word. I guess I've just never said it that way. Um, any messages for Taurus regarding love? July 24th to the 31st. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Some of you guys are asking me why I'm redoing the reading. <laughs> Sorry, it's just funny when I can hear it, like your inner dialogues. It just cracks me up sometimes. Um, I'm redoing the reading because the fact that I had that little nugget come up tells me that um, my energy was probably a little murky and I probably was not aware of it. So I was like, all right, let's do Taurus Justice and let's redo it now that I've purged a little bit. That's why. And no, I have no Taurus in my chart. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Let's see here. Wow. We have a King of Wands. Oh, focus. We have a King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. And Three of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. Ooh, this is definitely the King of Cups energy at play. Someone could have just ended a third party. 
Whoa. Oh, Taurus. Whether you're the king or it's someone else, <coughs> excuse me, that little emotional explosion from not being able to deal with the emotions at play regarding this apology that this person's considering um, making might have ended a third party situation. Like almost, you know, kind of like a scenario of like, let's say there was a third party. Let's say, you know, let's say this person left you for someone else. Um, then they're with this other person, but they can't get over the emotions they have for you. They can't get over the love that they have for you. They can't get over the guilt of whatever happened. And so they're, they're, they're suppressing, suppressing, all while just debating with themselves if they should apologize or not. They don't feel like it's safe because they're acting out of fear. And then they can't deal with the emotions and then boom, something happens between them and their new person ending the third party. That could definitely be the case for some of you, okay? Um, but this King of Wands in reverse, I, I am getting someone, again, who's not grounded, not grounded regarding their actions. I'm actually getting impulsive. Impulsive. This person, it's so funny. It's, it's because they're ungrounded. Thank you. It's because they're ungrounded. When this person's grounded, they're all about decisions. They're all about making decisions and being very final about it. Almost feels very Taurian. So this could be very masculine Taurian reading. Just keep that in mind. Um, but when they're ungrounded, they make very... I'll just say uneducated, very uneducated, unwise, unwise, unwise decisions. And whatever decisions they're making in this mode, it's it's blowing up in their face. It's blowing up in their face. I'm also getting a lot of partying with this person because they're not dealing with the emotions. Thank you. Because they're not dealing with the emotions. They're kind of throwing themselves into distractions when and where they can, you know, kind of like that, you know, fake happy mask energy, right? If I just party, I will have fun. I can't party and cry at the same time. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize how close I was to the camera. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, old bad deeds. And deeds that this person got away with. This is definitely the King of, King of Wands slash King of Cups doing. They got away with something in the, yeah, the guilt. Thank you. There, you're reminding me of the guilt. The guilt is eating them alive. Whatever this is, the guilt is eating them alive. I think the party that they did this to has taken the high road, and I think that's what's making them crazy because they're not used to that. Getting a lot of downloads for you, Doris. <laughs> See, I'm glad I redid this video. It's like after I purge a little nugget, it's like a lot of a lot more stuff is coming in. So yeah, my energy was a little murky, and I didn't recognize it. So again, just wanted to do you guys right. Yeah, this person, the guilt is eating them alive and most and mostly because they didn't they, they're not used to people taking the high road. I feel like the other party, whoever the other party was, it's like it, they probably just again, whatever happened, because it is going to be different for everybody. Whatever happened, it's like they just let it go or they just try to keep it moving. They just try to keep it moving. They didn't try to pick at it. They didn't try to, like, tear this person apart. And because of that the king of wands slash king of cups feels guilty okay let's see what else we got going on here any other messages for taurus regarding love july 24th to the 31st any other messages for taurus regarding love july 24th to the 31st any other messages for taurus regarding love july 24th oh okay nine of cups in reverse there's the drink again <laughs> more drinking energy and also um loss of hope lots of hope not just never feeling like their cup is full oh god that's sad that's sad this king feels like their cup is never full can never be full this person's got a lot of negative self-talk in their head that's why their ego's so overdeveloped they got a lot of pain to work through they've got a lot of pain to work through um and the more they ignore it, like, honestly, the more or, oh, Jesus, the more overdeveloped their ego's getting. I'm also getting a little bit of depression with that as well, okay? Overall energy, we do have seven of wands, Leo energy. Ooh, defensive. Defensive and guarded. Very, very defensive and guarded. I feel like all this energy is just honestly the king of wands slash king of cups. So, Taurus, if this is someone you're dealing with, you're about to get the full spiel of what's going on with this person okay and if anything taurus if you are the receiving end of all of this you know if you're not the king of wands or king of cup or slash king of cups um if anything you just have a lot of doubt about this person 
you have a lot of doubt about them you don't trust them why would you you don't you don't really trust them and you're very you're very kind of cynical about them it's like if you were to have a confrontation with them i feel like you would just watch their every freaking move like analyze every word that came out of their mouth because that's how mistrusting you are of them right now but either way this person's very guarded oh you're very you're very guarded too thank you it's a mutual energy they're they're guarded they're acting guarded and very defensive because they're not dealing with shit but taurus if you again if you're the receiving party if you're the other party you're defensive because you don't trust them interesting okay so let's get into this king of wands energy a three of cups in reverse i want to see this three of cups in reverse and see what the deal is with that i'm gonna use rider wave to clarify so i have three of cups in reverse for taurus regarding love july 24th to the 31st tell me about three of cups in reverse for taurus regarding love july 24th to the 31st Three of Cups in Reverse for Taurus regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me Three of Cups in Reverse for Taurus regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Okay, that was quick. Hanged Man in Reverse, Piscean Energy. There's a little bit of a wake up call going on for this king. Definitely a wake up call. They can't keep running. There's no outrunning. There's no outrunning this. This is growth. This is growth and expansion kind of creeping up on this king. This is kind of fascinating. It's like the more it's, okay, imagine this. Let's say you've got like, I don't know, a big room full of, oh, I don't know why I just, oh, I flashed to Star Wars. Okay, so imagine Star Wars, right? Where it's like that big scene where like they're in like the trash and like the wall starts closing in to basically com compress the trash. It's like the more they push it away, it's like the more stuff is just gonna get squeezed out. It's, it's almost like that. It creeps up on them. It creeps up on them. They're also kind of realizing that the longer they wait, um, the less likely they'll be able to actually fix this situation. They'll be less likely to have a reunion, a happy reunion, a reconciliation. They'll be less likely to actually make amends with, with this other person. Tell me three of cups in reverse. Also maybe realizing they got some addiction issues, some drinking problems maybe realizing that owning owning it thank you owning it they've known oh, okay they've known owning it doesn't have to also be alcohol can also be drugs or vices of any vice really that can be linked to addiction tell me about three of cups in reverse for taurus tell me about three of cups in reverse for taurus oh boy oh wow overall energy we have ten of swords in reverse gemini energy with the king of pentacles right underneath that taurian energy it could also be earth or air the three clarifiers like i said the hangman in reverse and then we have three of wands in reverse aries energy and ten of wands sagittarian energy realizing they have to put in the work it's not going to come to them wow that's exactly what this is realizing that that making amends or happiness in general having joy in your life it's not just going to happen and they're realizing they have to work through their pain. They actually have to put in the work to get it. To get happiness in their life, to get joy in their life, healthy relationships, and a reconciliation if possible. And overall energy, like I said, is the King of Pentacles and Ten of Swords in reverse. I'm really happy this is the overall energy because it tells me this person is going through a change, is going through a transformation, even though they tried to outrun it. <laughs> even though they tried to outrun it as much as possible, they're realizing they have to face their pain. They have to face their pain. They, know, they realize that. There's no outrunning it. It caught up with them. It caught up with them, essentially. It, wow. Even underneath that, look, four pentacles. Holding on. Yeah. Realizing they, they have to face it. They have to. Let's look at the seven of swords in reverse and see what's going on with that. I'm going to use gilded tarot to clarify. Tell me about seven of swords in reverse. This king is realizing they they are the makers of their own of their own life. They are in control of their own life. Very much the energy I was picking up on earlier, right? If I want my life to be different, it's actually up to me to make it different. That's what they're realizing. Tell me about seven of swords in reverse. Tell me about seven of swords in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love. 
July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. What was this bad deed? Ooh. What was this bad deed? What was this deceit? This sabotage? I just heard illusion. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Illu Ill they're repeating illusion. Hmm, interesting. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. For Taurus. Strength, Leo energy. So like I said, we're going to see a lot of Leo energy coming up in these readings, but strength. Why, like, why do I feel like the back is turned? Illusion of strength. Illusion of strength. Illusion of power. Illusion of power. Oh boy. Okay. So strength, guys, it's not always just about strength or confidence or courage it's also about power and control and pride this person's pride got in the way this person's pride got in the way um their their mind at the time whatever this happened was focused on power plays and relationships that's how they saw relation i'm saying saw because they're clearly going through a transformation of some kind and i feel like it is changing their perspective and i only say that because it's the hanged man in reverse as opposed to a different major arcana here um, but that's how they saw relationships at the time this happened. They saw relationships only as power plays, which is kind of sad when you think about it. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. For Taurus regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Seven of Swords in, ooh, yeah, see? Ooh, look who we've got here. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy could also be Earth or water with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. I just heard time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Uh, this king, by the way, we got a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. We got a true pair on the board from two different decks, I might add. Um, so definitely these two people are very, very compatible. Very compatible. They're true pairs. So soulmates, twin flames, divine counterparts, whatever title resonates with you. But this person thought that this person I feel like was trying to control them or like manipulate them. I don't know what that's about. But they tried to power play the Queen of Pentacles and all it did was turn the wheel in the wrong direction. It was literally when this card comes out like this, it was a mistake. <laughs> you can think of it that way. It was a mistake. I'm getting a lot of disappointment off this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. And a lot of silence too. A lot of silence. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse for Taurus regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. All right, so we got two more cards out here. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy with the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. Again, I'm getting ego. A lot of ego with that. They were very proud of what they did at the time. In the moment, they were proud. They thought that they, oh God, this is really, okay, I'm not trying to assassinate this king's character. I'm not, I'm just the messenger because I know I have some kings watching me here. Um, man, this person took so much pride in what they did. They thought, yeah, I got it. I got that queen. I got that queen. I undercut her. I, I undercut her self-esteem. Like, I don't, I know that's not the right word. I don't know why I'm, that word's escaping me. Um, but essentially, they felt victorious because they thought that they shattered the Queen of Pentacles. They thought that they shattered this person's confidence. Because to them, it was power play, power play, power play. Not like relationship, not like one human being to another human being. They literally saw it as a power play. And whatever they did, they felt proud about it. They did. They felt very proud about it. Wow. It's really sad. Overall energy for the Seven of Swords in reverse, we do have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, could also be Aries or Leo. Underneath that, we do have Four of Cups in reverse. I'm getting rejection off of this. Rejection. I feel like this is the King's energy coming through. Oh, geez. Hold on a second. Why can't I pick this up? This is the King's energy coming through. It's This is them walking away from their bad deed. <laughs> Again, it's an illusion. It was, it, was a, it was a deed based off of power, like illusion of power. Illusion of power. Uh, relationships aren't relationships. They're just power plays. And feeling like they, you know, did a 
very confident like thing i just i can't believe like how confident and cocky they they were about it very very arrogant energy i have to say but feeling like yeah i slammed the door on that queen of pentacles wow wow okay <laughs> let's look at the nine of cups in reverse see what that's about and then we'll go ahead and do some advice i gotta be honest it's, it's kind of hard to like this king right now <laughs> I'm trying to because they clearly are about to go through some major change here. They're having some real deep realizations because they don't really have a choice about it. But I don't know. Not loving it. Not loving it. Tell me about Nine of Pentacles. Not Nine of Cups. Sorry. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love. July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. For Taurus regarding love man the fear this person has I feel like whatever power play they did it was like I'm gonna get you before you get me that's how it feels I'm gonna get you before you get me very fear-based very fear-based tell me about nine of cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love July 24th to the 31st Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse for Taurus regarding love. And by the way, I don't think they shattered this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is quiet. I can feel her energy. She's real quiet. I'm almost getting that energy of like, <laughs> kind of like in school, you know, when it's like when it's like really young kids and it's like, the kids are acting up the kids are saying something i don't know something funky something offensive whatever being being kids something that basically should be getting them in trouble or like oh thank you mouthing off to the teacher and the teacher just has nothing to say they just look at them like look down on them and it's like that's all that has to really be said is nothing <laughs> tell me about nine of cups in reverse that's kind of how it feels tell me about nine of cups in reverse for taurus regarding love but clearly they aren't happy about what they did after the fact in the moment they felt pretty damn good about it though tell me about nine of cups in reverse for taurus Let's see what we got here six of wands in reverse <laughs> funny how it's like in the moment they were so proud and then afterwards oh shit what did i do that was not what i should have done jupiter leo energy eight of swords in reverse gemini energy Wow, Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. The Sun, more Leo energy. Interesting, and the Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy, and the Page of Cups. Oh, well, yeah, this is more about this person realizing they can't outrun this shit. We're gonna get more into it, but I wanna get all the cards out here. <laughs> yeah, they're realizing they can't outrun this. Realizing that the only way out is through acknowledging what happened, approaching the situation. Literally, like, what did I say? Oh, I can't, happiness is just not going to fall in my lap. Reconciliation is just not going to fall in my lap. This person's not just going to forget what happened. Oh, I actually have to put in the work. They, they're realizing that. And it's pushing them towards an apology. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Don't be surprised if some of you get a drunk phone call. Honestly, don't be surprised. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. If you're on the receiving end. If you're the Queen of Pentacles here. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. All right hermit virgo energy last card out overall energy we have pages whoa page of swords in reverse ten of swords in reverse gemini energy underneath that we've got wow four of wands aries energy <laughs> eight of wands sag energy and then we end with a king of cups i love that the king of cups is upright scorpionic energy could also be water or air but this is the overall energy for that nine of cups being very disappointed by what was communicated it was it was communicated it was through words whatever bad shit happened to your taurus it was through words and i think it was it felt very much like a betrayal it felt like a stab in the back whatever was said because it was definitely something said with the page of swords in reverse it could have even been a flat out lie honestly um but whatever was said felt like a betrayal and led to this pain this pain that this king is feeling but the words came from them thank you the words came from this king but it caused a lot of pain and they ended up causing pain for themselves feels a lot like self-sabotage 
But then we have this Four of Wands and Eight of Wands. This is actually wanting a commitment, wanting a foundation. They might have even just, Taurus, they might have even just lied to you and said like, I don't care about you, Queen of Pentacles. I don't, I don't care about you. I don't, you know, what they could have said anything along those lines when in reality, oh no, I really do care and I really want a relationship with you or I want a foundation with you. Um, but anyway, let's get into these clarifying energies. We have that Six of Wands in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. We got two eights here, by the way, very auspicious energies. Oh, actually, you have three eights. The Eight of Wands, very auspicious. With the Eight of Cups in reverse and that Eight of Swords in reverse, this is realizing that returning to the situation reapproaching the person is what is going to lead to um progress what's going to lead to a lot more happiness a lot more joy a lot more sanity a lot more sanity and a lot more peace because because this king is basically telling themselves wow i felt so proud about that in the moment but that was actually a really egotistical thing to do whatever it was and then we have this we've got the sun chariot in reverse and the page of cups the sun is acting as an illumination energy shining light on the situation shining light on the fact that this person really can't move on they can't move on they thought they could but they can't they can't outrun it they can't outrun their feelings they can't outrun the inevitable either it's interesting they gave me inevitable they cannot run the inevitable and they're realizing the only way to have progress and forward movement in their life and specifically with the queen of pentacles is to actually put in the work and come forward with an apology putting in the work a lot of work by the way the ten of wands that's some serious ass work and then we have the three of wands and the hermit energy hermit is virgo energy um this is spending time in contemplation about it which is exactly where this king is at once they come through this realization that they have to approach they have to actually face it they have to face it and they have to deal with it then they go into this mode of okay what's to be expected here what am i walking into what should be said what shouldn't be said what was my role in it a lot of self-contemplation here a lot of introspective energy on the part of this king and like i said this queen's quiet this queen is quiet this queen took the high road definitely took the high road i feel like this queen probably didn't even say very much in response or probably didn't even do very much in response and since then has probably just been doing her own thing the fact that she's upright tells me she's very grounded and she's very much in her energy like her natural capricorn queen of pentacles energy and queen of pentacles is someone who's like considered the perfect spouse perfect hubby perfect wifey someone who like basically does it all she's like the multitasking queen is what i refer to her as she can work or run a business and she can nurture the household as well as any like financial 3d dimensional stuff she's very much a support system kind of energy and that's the energy that i feel like she's still in but very very quiet very quiet all right let's get some advice shall we any advice for taurus regarding this spread any advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread? But this king, their ego's really overdeveloped. I just gotta be honest with you guys. That's a lot of arrogant energy that I, I was picking up on with this king. That the that's gonna require a lot of change. I'm just being honest with you guys. It's gonna require a lot of healing on their part. Healing that they have to do on their own. So, Taurus, if you're the Queen of Pentacles, just keep that in mind, okay? Any advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Any advice? <laughs> Oh, look at that. Badger spirit. Be what? Fearless. This is for the king. Be fearless and bold with the energy of four foundations, stability, home. <laughs> and look at those eyes. That's like, I, I mean, business, right? Those eyes say, I mean, business and I'm not taking no for an answer and I'm going to fight and be persistent and do what I got to do. This is definitely the advice for the king to stop living in fear. Stop living in ego based fear. Stop latching on to old pains that are really fucking up your present is really what this energy is about let it go <laughs> my guides just said yeah what's the worst that can happen think about that what's the worst that can happen it just doesn't go in your favor but then you know you won't implode you know you know 
<laughs> when I talk to my friends, I, I usually end up saying that. Like if we're talking about something and they're like, I'm afraid to do this. I'm afraid to say that to this person. And I tell them like, well, what, what do you think is going to happen? Worst case scenario. Mm. <clears throat> You're not going to implode on the spot. You're not going to get smited. You're not going to fall into the core of the earth. Like everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. There's no point in trying to be afraid of things that are not actually real or things that are not tangible, right? Let's see here. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Oh, this is so freaking cute. This is so cute. I actually feel like this is the Queen of Pentacles energy, the advice for the Queen of Pentacles. We have ant spirit time to collaborate with the energy of one. I just heard two become one. And we got those two ants with one. Oh, I love that. Freaking love that. Otter spirit, you are never alone. 42, breaking down to a six. Excuse me. And then owl spirit, you see clearly now. 43, breaking down to a seven. In that first reading I did, the feminine energy kept coming up as a high priestess energy, which is very much like the owl energy here. This, oh my God. I love this. This is being able to see intuitively. Whoa. Whoa. I was about to go on a whole spiel and then my guide stopped me when I said see, to see into the person. Oh, 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 I got the chills. Oh, Taurus, if you're this king, this person sees right through you. You might not realize that. They've said it to you and when they've said it to you, you didn't believe it. If you're the king, the king basically doesn't believe the queen when the queen said, I see right through you. I see you. I understand you. I, that Okay, thank you. That's also why this queen is so quiet. She, oh, oh my god, I freaking love this reading. I'm so glad I redid it. Okay, this queen of pentacles is incredibly intuitive, has very much a high priestess energy. And the queen of pentacles is traditionally intuitive because the counterpart is also cancer for the queen of pentacles. But anyway, <clears throat> this queen of pentacles was quiet, didn't say shit, about what was going down because this queen knew why the king was acting the way the king was acting. And knew, and the queen knew that there was no point in saying shit. If someone's acting out of ego, especially like fear-based ego, there's nothing, there's nothing that can be said. There's really nothing that can be said. It's really up to the person in that energy to recognize their own shit. This queen knew. This queen's very intuitive. Anyway, um, this is a very, very uh, spiritual connection right here. I just have to say a very spiritual connection. And with time to collaborate, this is about working it out. This is about hashing it out, putting down the fear, healing the ego. And I'm not, I don't believe in ego deaths. I actually call them ego healings because we do need our egos in the 3D anyway. They don't serve a purpose in other dimensions, but I'm getting off track. Anyway, this is the advice to the Queen of Pentacles that this person really loves you. <laughs> This person really cares about you. You are never alone is basically like my two of cups, lover, six of cups kind of energy card in this deck. The only one I have in that deck. Um, seeing that there's a lot of freaking love here and it is time to finally work with this energy. It is possible. This is, thank you. This is also for the king. For the kings, for the kings that are watching, it's time to recognize the love here. It's time to recognize and accept, 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 accept. That's why this king was also pushing so hard. It's time to accept this connection and work with it. Work with it. Wow. We're not even done, guys. Oh my God, 43 minutes? Okay, Taurus, you got spoiled. You got spoiled. Any other advice for Taurus regarding this spread? Oh, very nice. Roll with the punches, guys. Roll with the changes, roll with the punches. Any other advice for Taurus? Also, they're telling me to tell you guys, I think this is just gonna help a couple people. Everything always works out. It does. Everything always works out eventually in some way, even if it's not how you see it working out. So Queen of Pentacles and the, and the King of Pentacles here, whichever one you are, this can apply to both of you. <laughs> both of you definitely want to discuss what happened, at the very least discuss what happened it doesn't mean it's going to happen the way you want it to, and it doesn't mean it's going to happen the way you expect it, expect it to, but it's definitely the way it's, it's supposed to happen, okay? Any advice for Taurus? All right, so I got one last card. Chameleon spirit. Act as if. 14 breaking down to a 5. About the change and transformations and obstacles. Being adaptable. 
You know, and Taurus, I love you, Taurus. I do. I love Taurian energy. But, oh, hold on, I'm out of focus. There we go. Every sign has, you know, a bit of a con list, right? Every sign does. Every single sign does. No sign is the best sign. No sign is perfect. Taurus, you guys know you're stubborn. It's okay to accept change. Change is the natural ebb and flow of nature. And I know you're a fixed sign. I get it. <laughs> but this is about accepting change as it comes and having to adapt to it because we are very adapting creatures. We adapt to our environments. We adapt to our changes so we can let new things happen. If we always fight change, nothing would ever literally change. We would never get anything new. We would never become new people. We would never grow. It's okay to accept change because this is all about accepting change right here, okay? And then overall, oh my God, pretty perfect. Wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. 64, a very cyclical energy. So closing out old, old ways of being, closing out old cycles and opening new ones and understanding that life is painful sometimes and there is nothing wrong with that. Pain is literally just an indicator that we need to pay attention to something. Think of pain like that. Don't think of it as that person did this, this person did that. Oh my God, this feels so horrible. Don't think of it like that. Think of it as an indicator, like your nervous system. Why do we feel physical pain? So our bodies can basically tell us, hey, something's not right. Can you pay attention here and fix this, please? That's all pain is. It's just an indicator, okay? And think of it that way. It might be a lot easier every other time you experience some kind of emotional pain. It's just your emotional house, your emotional body telling you, hey, some things we got to work out right? Wow, Taurus, this was intense, needless to say, but I'm really glad I redid it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a great week, Taurus, and a great night. Namaste.